I like games. I like games involving rugby balls and frisbees. Although not necessarily at the same time. And I like computer games and Nintendo games. But I also really like games that I can play at the table. For today's vlog, I thought I'd talk about a couple of my favorite tabletop games that I'm playing at the moment. Not like playing at the moment, but I am at the moment enjoying to play that I'm not playing at this moment in time. These are, of course, in no particular order except for this first one, X-Wing Miniatures. X-Wing Miniatures is by far my favorite game to play, and it's not just because it's Star Wars. Although that does help a little bit. The idea behind X-Wing Miniatures is that you pilot your ships to attack the other ships from your opponent's squadrons and then blast them into oblivion using your imagination to create massive explosions in the space and whatnot. But it's a lot more complicated than just that. I would obviously love to go in great deal about this and all the other games that I'm going to be talking about, but there just isn't time. Suffice it to say that you move your ships, you attack other ships, defend, and blow crap up. And of course, the best way to play is by cranking Star Wars music the entire time while you're playing. And the ships are so detailed and so good looking and beautiful and pretty and <laughs> I like them a lot. Again, I would love to talk about this game forever because there is so much I could talk about this game because I love it so much and I just love playing it and talk about each individual ship for a long time, but I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say that it's a great game and I just love playing it. The next game I want to talk about is Pandemic. Pandemic stresses me out. Pandemic is a co-op board game in which you try to beat the board. Now the board is always coming up with all these diseases and every turn you draw for diseases and see which city's gonna get infected next. And if that city's like overflowing with infections, then the disease travels to the next nearest city. And that gets really fun when that city is overflowing with diseases and so it just starts spreading, spreading, spreading. And it's always for some reason in Asia that I can't keep contained. It's always Asia. Anyway, there's one way to win, but there are multiple ways to lose. The game is against you from the very beginning. Needless to say, this game stresses me out quite a bit, but I've never had so much fun losing before to an inanimate object. Next up, we have King of Tokyo. Basically, you're a supermassive monster that insists on destroying Tokyo while destroying other monsters while it's at it. You win by obviously getting more points than the next guy, or de destroying the other monsters in the process. You need to decide when to go into Tokyo, when to stay in Tokyo. I mean, you can get beat up when you're in Tokyo, everyone just goes for you because that's who they attack. But if you're in Tokyo, you attack everyone at once and it's brilliant because you're just like, bah, 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 you're all gonna die. Actually, just on Saturday, I was at a King of Tokyo tournament and I didn't do very well, but I did well enough to win a promo pack of cards. How cool is that? It says, not for retail, not for resale. I got a pack of cards. They're going for like 20 bucks on eBay. You, anyone wanna buy a pack of cards? I also got a sticker. Stickers are cool. But King of Tokyo, I don't actually own this one, which is a shame because I love it. And it's great. And I have now cards to play with it for it, but I don't have it. Small World. I love Small World. Small World is great because it's like Risk, but different. I also love Risk. You can be elves or dwarves or orcs or anything you want to be. There's, they're like mystical, mythical creatures. And you have a certain amount of units. Once all your units are depleted, then you put your race into decline and they just kind of sit there and hang out where they were last left getting points unless they're destroyed by the other people and then you choose a new race to be and you start over from the scratch and you just keep doing this over and over and over until the game's over. I sound a little confusing but yeah you'd probably have to play it so it's not as confusing when you're playing it. Now each race has a different ability that's randomly inserted to the race. You could have like flying elves or merchant orcs because we all know that there are some orcs that like money. It's a really fun game and you think you have everything in the bag until the guy next to you decides that, hey, I want to be the race of rat men. And so they just start overwhelming the board and just start taking over everybody. And you're like, curse you, rat men. I hate rat men. Next up, Dominion. Dominion's a great game. It's a deck building game where you start off with 10 cards and get five cards in your hand. And each turn you buy more cards from the middle, which everyone can buy from. And then you keep adding to your deck until you have this massive deck of cards. And then you start using other cards in your deck and building and buying and and attacking other players with attack cards or protecting yourself with defense cards. It's quick, it's fun, assuming of course everyone knows how to play it while you're playing, otherwise it could take a while. But once you get going, it's great. Also, it doesn't ruin as many friendships as Small World does. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know what I'm playing these days and what games I like, because I like games. Yeah, I do. Anyway, I hope you're all well and traveling well, and I will see you guys in a few hours. Because you're coming to the wedding, which is this week. Okay, bye!